Oh, look, it's an intro. There should be sounds here, but I haven't made it yet. Ooh, intro. Hi, I'm Seamless, and today is Friday, which means it's time for a new How to Bass. And today, I'll teach you how to make this sound. And variations of it. So this is actually just going to be a one-parter because it's a very simple thing. And it's actually based on an idea that I talked about before, the idea of the phase verb. So sometimes the phase verb is really two things. It's either a modulation of some kind made by a phaser in Harmer, or it's a modulation of some kind made by changing the phase of your harmonics. There's a number of ways to do this. However, there's a certain limitation of doing it in Harmer. Um, I'll actually just do this from scratch because, I mean, I made this, this sound to demonstrate what it sounded like, but it's actually rather simple. So in Harmer, there's this process called the, the harmonic detune. And what it does is it moves harmonics away from the fundamental tone. So the fundamental tone is basically the lowest tone, which is usually just a single sine wave in in the entire sound. If we look at an EQ, you know, a sine wave has only, you know, the one the one thing. But if I go to a saw wave, it has a lot of harmonics and stuff. The harmonic detune will take all the extra uh, extra harmonics, basically everything that's not the lowest note and move it away from the lowest note in pitch. And now you're thinking, okay, we we're talking about Harmer. Why am I in? Why am I in Citrus? Well, you can actually do some of the same things in Citrus because Citrus has the oscillator harmonic tab, which is this little mini additive engine, which is kind of cool. And so, if you have any kind of waveform that you got in, Har in Citrus, you can right-click it and say convert to sine harmonics, and it makes a little additive version of the sound, much like it does in Harmer. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disable the lowest note. The, the the first tone, the the, harm, the fundamental tone. And I'm going to replace it by turning on another oscillator that has the same tone. So now I have a sine wave and all the harmonics, and they're separated. Which means now I can pitch up the uh, oscillator that has all the harmonics on it, much like you would with Harmer. Now, just doing that, you don't really hear much of an effect, but if I were to route these into the filter, the filter, the filter, and turn off the filter, but turn on the wave shaper, suddenly that. Which is really cool. But with certain phase warp sounds that I managed to get out of Harmer, um, they're much more complex. And one of the reasons why they're complex is because I would turn on unison and then turn it off really fast. Now, why would I do that? Well, if you turn on unison, you're basically creating two different voices and then you're putting them back together. You're putting them back together when you turn the pitch down. But the difference is, is that as a result of having been unison with the pitches being different, that means that certain harmonics moved faster because pitch is speed, which means that they got out of phase. And then when you brought them back down, you didn't bring them back to phase. You didn't bring them back to phase unison. You brought them back to pitch unison. They kept their phase profile. So I thought it was, okay, well, I could probably mimic that doing all these things, but then I forgot. Well, and then this is actually true for Harmer as well. You could do this exact, this exact same process in Harmer. Uh, I remember that, well, in this oscillator tab, you can actually change the phase of each individual harmonic. Notice that as I go higher in the harmonics, you start to hear higher frequencies start to get away from each other. How cool is that? Can I change the panning of individual operators? I can. See, because the next part of this would be, like, if you really did want to uh, make the same thing happen as the... Um, the, the phasing business with the harmonics or whatever is that you could actually engage another oscillator with the, with the do the whole saw thing and then also put it into the filter and then pan one left and pan the other right. So what I would do is I would delete all this, pan one all the way to the bottom and then delete all this and then pan one on top. That should work. I don't know if it did. It totally didn't work. It's because I'm running into the filter. So uh, this, this idea of the panning actually just right now occurred. All right, 
it. So now that it is working. Well, now that I've done it through the actual routing, I can actually just pan it myself. So uh, the reason why it sounds a little off balance is because one of them doesn't have the phase difference. So I'm going to create the phase difference in here too. It's not going to be exactly the same as the phase difference in the first one. So it's going to create a little bit of an imbalance. But then when I distort it, One of these is the sine wave. That's why that's different. The padding business is not as optional. The important, the important part is that you actually distort it because without, well, without the distortion, it doesn't get the the phase differences in this whatever doesn't get uh, crushed up against itself, so it's not really noticeable. Isn't distortion wonderful? So that's a lot of fun. And like I mentioned, you could do the same thing in Harmer if you wanted to. Uh, the way that like I'll just so I can I'll we're basically done with the video, but I just want to go over what I was talking about with the uh, uh, phase business. So what I would do is I'd make a unison, and then I would edit the articulator so that it turned off really fast, like so. And that's how you know it's working. So I'm making a bass, do the detune thing a little bit, and then distort it, and then I go in and change some unison pitch in this business. And that could be a lot of fun. But you can do this if you don't have unison. You get the very basic version of it. But you can still do you can still do what we described by going into harmonic phase in the window here, and then doing like you do with citrus, just change phase of stuff. Actually, turn off snap. Such randomness, y'all. And you get slide differences. You do gotta mess around. Now you're getting a similar result, but with just one voice. So you can have more control over what's happening. Because again, it's all about control. And you, then you can also do it with Hedris. Hedris, how was Hedris? Now, um, in the past, I've there was actually a um, this is actually a pretty old technique of mine, the phase verb idea. And I did I, there was a one I think it was called neuro with neuro sampling. And then I showed you how to do it with uh, citrus with toxic, maybe with massive. I don't think I did it with massive, but I did it with three X L S C. And then the way that I did that is because we were able to separate the harmonics from this fundamental. But we, with this idea of the phase changing that's not something you can really replicate with uh, three X oscillator or other plugins you have to have a plugin that lets you have the individual harmonics that you can set the phase of yourself which are pretty much in my experience citrus and harmer and probably razor you could probably do this with razor if you figured it out so that's what's up with this um if you have any questions about any of this let me know and as usual have a nice day and now there's an outro there should, there should also be sounds here and like links to stuff. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with this. This is, kind of an, this is kind of an experiment. I think it's cool. Do you think it's cool? I think it's cool. You should like subscribe to me and follow me and stuff. That'd be great. Thank you. Thank you much. You guys are cool. You're cool guys. And you're good producers. You're all good producers.